interrupted.
left the tables and turned Like there's a change in the weather Feels like my time is returning Like I'm about to get out of this cage If you could see me now I'd probably let you down But that's enough for me Imperialism, 
intense monetarism, denialism, and terrorism, digital fetishism, intense monetarism, digital fetishism, digital fetishism, digital fetishism, intense monetarism. Here we 
guys were in. Yeah, about the night that doesn't know whether to speak or die. Right. So does he or doesn't he? Better to speak, she said. She's on her guard. She's in the trap somewhere.
writing machine Sweating all the tears out It's a lingering dream Tell me if it's good now Cause I can't decide Help me find my reason Take away my pride
it's so it's so weird to 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 have you here guys after four years uh, uh, four years later even i think the same day approximately or yeah i i, I thought the same it's it's, it's, <laughs> it's the same crazy. time range like, it's it, it's yeah, four it's four February. years yeah yeah four exactly years. four years yeah, exactly four years ago um what what differences did you see uh approaching your set four years ago and now because now i imagine the pressure was something else um what changed in your mind in the way you approach this set um i mean you always you always kind of evolve or change a bit your style maybe or or at least we are uh, constantly reinventing and, and 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 try to develop ourselves so i'm not sure if we have had like a particular let's say approach to it to make it different because it's a different venue no actually actually not because uh, when i made the playlist like when, when we made the playlist together i was thinking the way we it was 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 a good way to do it like changing between the styles like going more melodic than more like 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 more pumping you know so and we try to do the same like today i think i think this 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 is our, this is how we play also on our in our regular dj sets that we try to make a trip you know dif through Com different combine a bit different styles we get we get easily bored if we just yeah i can if it's just the same bass line the whole track it's yeah like, definitely you know, you know. and now that you played twice for us what uh defines a good track for a circle set for you uh a track you uh, as a dj or, or or live performer whatever whatever your craft is really love and like because uh you need to translate it and i think um some people might uh, can play something for the audience but we really need to feel it uh no matter the style or the genre it's about like i guess transporting that energy or the the, the love for for that particular track and there was a question online asking like um someone realized that you're playing more vocals than before uh is it and and the question was is it a coincidence or or uh, uh or it was your uh, idea of uh, playing more tracks with with vocals throughout the years uh, actually yeah i mean on, honestly to, to verify that we have to go back to listen uh, listen old sets but i think i pr i think i know pretty uh I'm pretty sure there was a time years, years ago where we played even more vocals than we played, let's say, today. So I guess, again, what he said before, it's a it, it, it's a constant, uh, or the only constant is change. So sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but I don't think it's I like vocals. More. So. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so you have your answer, Jan Likens. And speaking about good vocals, uh, the beautiful tra track you made for this show uh, in collaboration with Anka. Um, uh, the beautiful remix like how um, how do you select the people you're working with uh, I, I'm speaking like singers um, what, what's your creative process you first do the track and then you add the vocal or you work straight straight from the beginning with the with the vocal in if we talk particularly about this track it's um, if I'm not mistaken um, this was re-sung it, it's, it's a it's a it's a UK track from it's probably the 90s, was it the 90s? I'm not sure. 90s probably, but it was re-sung by, by, uh, by someone who did it with Enkia and we really loved it, so we approached them and made basically made a, made a collaboration project out of it. Um, and I mean, the, the people we work with in general, um, everything comes pretty naturally, I think. You know, like people we meet or, or you kind of meet online or there is like a coincidence at an event. Like we don't really have like a, a strategy or a particular, let's say, audition process or something. It's, not, it, not at all. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, it's, it's natural. Um, and um, for, for a lot of artists, when you're like kind of in the top of, the, of your career, uh, I, I, I cannot say if you are in the top of your career or not, but it, it's very um, it's very difficult to keep evolving, to keep creating, to keep uh, testing new things. How do you handle that yourself? Um, and how do you stay connected to your audience and, and try to incorporate their feedback? Or do you try at all that? As, as uh, again, this comes back uh, to, to what he said in the beginning, to the DJ set. Um, all of our career is a little bit based on that 
not worrying too much and just doing and then also every now and then there comes a certain change of style or there's a particular moment where he plays something or does something where you think oh my god this is like something new or this is so fresh um, because you get you get a little bit uh, bored or stuck with yourself in your creativity but we were lucky that in, in a couple of times in our actually quite long career already that uh, this particular moments happen and then you have feel or have this new kind of refreshed motivation and engagement with the people and uh, we have also very very um, uh, like like good good uh, fans we love them they they take they, they um, yeah they follow us since a long time and they they keep on doing this and also are uh, always curious what we do next and uh, they stay with us so I guess we're lucky with it <laughs> and I can imagine that being a duo is also great to ping pong your ideas and you know, always keep... Yeah, this is all, uh, I mean, yeah, it makes it also more easy, so that it's not the only pressure, the, the pressure on you uh, when you are one person. Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, you're not alone with the bad and the good moments, and that's... Uh, of course, I mean, it, it has to fit, so it's it's not... Uh, if, 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 if you have completely different ideas, it's going to be a mess, so I think... It, That was my other question. Yeah, yeah you, have, you have to speak the same language musically, so otherwise, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine that after 15 years of, uh, you know, uh, meeting each other, uh, now you, you really understand each other, but how do you handle when, you're, when you don't agree on something? You have um, to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I'm, I'm trying to think of moments where, or, 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 or like, let's say important de decisions or opinions we had, which, which I think, there, there nev let's put it this way, there never was a major decision. Uh, creatively or or, or um, in terms of business um, decisions that that they were like that we were so far out that there was a big discussion so I think in the important decisions of our career um, we always were on the same page so it's beautiful um, and um, I have uh, other other question from the audience um, yeah but uh, before that I wanted to, to speak about a bit more about X which is your no new project. Um, so you're producers, DJs, but also now you organize your own events, which are X. Can you tell us a bit more about this concept? Yeah, basically we just had the first event. So we just we just Zurich, started. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah, and we wanted to start this journey, basically. That was a particularly, like th that we wanted to start it in Zurich because it's our home and if we thought it's a good thing, you know, to 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 see all the operation and what's happening so yeah yeah it, it all started when we had uh, when we had our 10 years anniversary tour yeah and then covid happened so it, back then we actually wanted to continue and then it basically put us on hold with it and um yeah now we are glad to to put it back on track yeah so x it's a is a is a symbol for a lot of things in mathematics geographic yeah. uh science physics uh but you say that x marks the spot where two paths cross exactly um can you reflect on a specific instance uh where two paths crossed in a meaningful or transfer transformative way to you um yeah at a, in general the like duality always um is a major thing in our lives like um Yeah, if if we, if we talk about the major incidents, it's when our paths cross. Our paths cross in a in a dark, dusty club in Germany. We introduced ourselves with the same name, and this was this particular moment. And so this dualism, du duality, X, which marks the spot where two paths cross, which don't has to be necessarily that two hum humans cross. Like it's just it's, it's a crossing point for two things. They come together, which were unknown to each other in the first place, and then they grow to something. And this is basically this this idea where it comes from. So it's a very open, uh, a, op a symbol, as you said, for so many things, and that's exactly what it represents. That's amazing. We he really brought it on point, kind of. Kind of yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're so glad that you meet each other, <laughs> actually, and we uh, we are really looking forward to seeing more of uh, X. Actually, um, let's speak about AI. Are you into AI at at all? I mean, you. I mean, you more. <laughs> well, Durant? he's. I don't. I don't know. Like, well, he's. The, he's the, in, in everything. He's the more technical guy. But in terms of probably these fancy things, like I'm super. No, like, like of course it's super interesting. You know, like um, we didn't have that 
we didn't have that much contact yet, but there is there are some very very interesting things out there also in terms of music and creativity, obviously. Yeah. Have you ever tried for any of your shows to to work with AI yet? Well, mm. honestly, on the first act show there were some AI visuals, um, so. Technically, yes, and this is a very interesting uh, topic to explore. I mean, AI rendered content was that basically? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So, there based are on the track the that you were playing, yeah, or based on yeah, based on the information yeah. you feed it. Yeah, that's amazing. And do you see? Um, can we speak about the limitation of AI for you creatively? Because you were speaking about uh, more um, AI like as a tool to enhance creativity, but do you think that? Um, Uh, creating in creating and performing mu music, do you see any limitation on it, and how it may shape the future on the, of the industry? I well, I'm 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 not so aware of even of which state we are, but I personally think um, like I'm a, I'm a big sci-fi guy, for example. I love to I love sci-fi movies and, and read about stuff, which is not yet real, maybe. So. Um, I think there probably are no limitations at all, and that's a very um, interesting, but also a very scary thought, I think. Um, but it will definitely shape, and I think if you if you close your eyes on it, like um, yeah, you could be left behind because these things are gonna get more and more important, and they're getting more involved in all of, of creativity and all of business. I think definitely, and now AI creating their like robots creating their own music. I don't know if you saw the Taylor Swift uh, song, which has been created by AI with the voice of Taylor Swift, actually. I, I saw, I saw not, not this particular one, but I saw, I saw other stuff, which again, is, is like soup. It's crazy, but also very scary at the same time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think you, yeah, it's exactly this. I'm, um, not, I'm, I'm not there yet, 100%, to be honest. I like the, the real stuff. Okay, I see. <laughs> um, If you were us, um, Circle, um, which artist would you invite to play in which location? You need ideas or <laughs> Yes, please, <laughs> help me. <laughs> no, I want your point of view. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. It's hard to choose one because, you know... Story of our life. <laughs> I don't know. Very hard. I think we can't do a statement for that because. Uh, yeah, I don't want to pick one or the other. Because because the circle very Swiss answer, very diplomatic Swiss <laughs> answer. The, the the circle shows they got very rare and 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 like you know like it's to choose one for that now is a, a hard decision. No, I mean. Of course, of course, I would choose some 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 of like a, a newcomer, a, a new rising art which does great music. Um, Yeah, you can take some time to to think about it and maybe yeah, answer I later. Don't I would, worry, it's I would, a difficult I would, question. I will send you a text. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> and we'll put it in the in the comments <laughs> so that you you guys know online. Yeah. Uh, we have a few questions from our Patreon users. This one is deep. Do do you believe your music defines you, or do you define your music? Um, again. He, no. he has an answer to everything. Well, I see that. <laughs> he's, he's like an AI, basically. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, again, this comes back to the, the X thing also, where we talked about this, uh, where X marks the spot with two paths cross. I think it's a two-way street, right? Um, and I think if the one or the other is too, uh, has too much of the, like, owns too much of the balance, it, it, could, it could get out of balance. So I think it's a... Uh, it's a little bit in between and and if you look like on the beginning and the end of your career it's for sure it's a different thing in the beginning it was all about this just i want to do it and then you do it and then becomes actually your whole existence and the importance or the responsibility of that weight gets gets so much higher so it this probably changes in your life a couple of times but i think uh, it has to be somewhere in the middle that it, that it, you don't let it take over you something mm, like this. i see What emerging sounds incorporate? Oh, sorry. What emerging sounds do you incorporate in your new music, and 
uh, is there any trends that you would like to see fade away? This is the last question from a Patreon user. Well, he goes into modular now, so it's not into the AI stuff. So that's the new emerging sound. What was the last part of the question? Sorry. Is there is there any trends that you would like to see fade away? <laughs> Vocals, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no. I mean, um, like, I don't know. We don't, we don't think in trends. So, um, no, because nah, no, like, inclusive. Great. Thank you so much, guys. It was uh, thank you a great honor to have you back on Circle. Thank you, guys, again for us uh, to have the opportunity also to interview you for uh, the second time. And um, we would also like to thank the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities of Egypt um, of allowing us uh, to do this concert here, first electronic music concert here. Uh, it's a big, big milestone. So I uh, really wanted to uh, thank them for their trust and also our partners, which are um, Cord plus Vodafone. And um, also I wanted to thank all the team, hundreds of people working for this show, uh, working really hard for uh, for the last month so thank you to every one of you and we have you know us our little tradition which is the mystery box and the mystery box is coming <laughs> so i let you discover your gift yeah you can open the box sorry yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh it's actually a little instrument that we bought in aswan during our trip uh going here to luxor it's it's called a rabab or oh, Rababa, wow. I think, uh, I hope I uh, pronounce it well. Um, I tried to learn how to play it so that I can show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have maybe, to show. maybe not live because. <laughs> <laughs> please, <laughs> please, please, not live, but uh, I will try to show you. And uh, it would be, uh, I think, s uh, such a great thing if you, if you manage to maybe sometime uh, incorporate some of this sound to one of your tracks. We set a time and then I sh we show you what we've done with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you very much, thank guys. You. Thank, thank you, guys. Um, and uh, see you next time for maybe the third round. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank, you, thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.